What's going on guys? This is Barsus OP. Welcome back for more Fallout 3. <clears throat> In the last episode, I had to deal with a shitload of security bots, as well as steal the Declaration of Independence, which we have to go turn back right now. Man, I did not know what to do when I started this recording, but simply by saying that, I remember what I had to do. Andy. Anyway, I just realized, I generally say my intro a lot better when I'm alone than within. There's so many things I do better by myself. Jeez, Anne, you ruin everything. Alright, let's see where we have to go back to. Of course, this quest is totally glitched all the shit, so it never... Oh, no, no, it's finally telling me where to go. Pfft. Also, I'm in really bad shape. I need to heal myself. Oh, well. Uh, so, what game was I playing in between playing Fallout this time? You know, because I always have to get reused to these damn controls. But luckily, the game I was actually playing was Skyrim, so... Bethesda, thank you for always having pretty much the exact same control control scheme for everything. That's what I like. A company that uses the exact same control scheme. Very simple, very easy to get back used to. Not at all like other games where they just swap up the friggin' buttons all the shit the next game. For example, did I ever tell you how much trouble it was for me to get used to the brawl controls, even though they're pretty much the same as Melee, except like, distorted into a Wii Remote controller. It's hard to explain, but I was able to get through it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep, so it's been a little while since I've recorded. Kind of not too long. Honestly, that's how it's been lately. I haven't had much time to record, and honestly, it's not like I've had much time to do the 800 subscribers, 800 video special either. Even though I technically should have been able to have done that by now. Honestly, yeah. I think I would have been done that by now, but then Anne was like, you know, we should nice do it day, together. Huh? I'm like, you know what, that is a really nice idea. Too bad. Getting both our schedules to work together, and then once we actually get here, starting to work on it is a real pain in the ass. Luckily, he has been giving me some extra ideas for the 800th. Right now, I'm up to like Hello. eight parts, I believe. I just need two extra little itty bitty parts. However, saying this has absolutely no provocations on your life, because by the time this is uploaded, the 800th video will have been long done, and none of the events that I am mentioning right now will even have any, any provocations over your life. For example, today is November 2nd, two days ago was Halloween. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be friggin' Decembeard. Speaking of Decembeard, I gotta grow out a beard. Probably for December, or Manuary. Manuary 2, and Novembeard, all that. Hello. Probably should grow out a beard. I don't know. I don't look too bad with a beard, but it's like, eh. Usually ass is just to shave every week. Mom gets up my butt about it. She's like, you, you should shave. I'm like, okay, I'll shave. That's what happens, and I'm kind of not remembering where the hell I have to go for the thing. Capital Preservation Society, here we go. Uh, I'm guessing it's not that. Over here. Okay, this... Here we go. Alright, well we made it. Now we can finally get the final of the constructible items, I believe. He's probably over here sleeping or something. Alright. Abraham Washington. Yo, I got your friggin' thingy, my bobber. Your Declaration Welcome of Independence. Kind of. I can't wait to add the Declaration to the Society's collection. Well, here you go. What will you give me for this toy of Link? Oh, no, absolutely not. A recording of Lincoln's voice. Absolutely, you can take that shit. I don't care about that. An actual recording of Lincoln's voice? Amazing! Yep. Please, allow me to compensate you for it. I'll... 60 caps. Why is this lagging so bad? You've got a deal. Thanks, Mutt. Man, it's taking forever to give me these, like, options. Apparently, I'm just used to Skyrim or something. Uh, no, not Lincoln's rifle. Well, I've looked around for a bit. I've recovered a copy of the Magna Carta. Interested? Indeed I am. Although there were several copies made of the document, I certainly never expected to come across one intact. Yeah, seriously. What do you say to 75 caps for it? Okay. Thank you very much. I wonder if the Magna Carta had like an original, well, yeah, I bet it had an original version, which is probably worth a lot more than the copies, but whatever. I have the Declaration of Independence. Oh my lord, I never expect, I mean, I am utterly shocked. Yep. You have earned your place in the annals of American history, yes By indeed. giving me a fake, you but he doesn't know that, so don't tell him. Day. Seriously, don't tell him. 
I understand I'll shoot with the my dart gun. Difficult. So allow me to present you with an extra bonus to perhaps whet your appetite for future endeavors. Okay. Enjoy your reward, Except he never gives friend. me future you endeavors. And thus we get the forge decoration removed and we get the railway rifle. And also a shitload of bottle caps. Sweet. The railway rifle is probably one of my least favorite of the constructible items, but it's usable. It's It requires small guns, so doesn't mean it's bad it's just not necessarily a very interesting weapon I mean it does have the funny thing where like every time you shoot it it sounds like a railway it goes woo 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 I can't do the voice proper and the funny thing is if you hit someone and it knocks off their limb the limb it hits will stick to the wall with a rail stuck in it which is kind of fun but it's just not that powerful it's it's basically I don't know. The best way I can describe it is it's kind of like an M1 Grand from uh, Call of Duty 2, which you think would be cool because I love the freaking M1 Grand, but the problem with it is I'm it's pretty inaccurate. It's not very fun. Now, if there was an actual M1 Grand in the game, I'd be all over that, like fucking jelly on peanut butter, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So, that is not the case. Let us leave. Where are we going now? I have an idea. Let's leave. But the door isn't locked, and the only way out is through the rivet city door. Did I just do that quote again? I mean, I, I know I'm quoting Spongebob, but have I seriously done that quote again? I was just saying the other day how I only done that quote maybe twice on my channel. And I was doing it in like a Tales video. Or something like that. Or maybe it was another Fallout video. Man, I make way too many fucking Spongebob quotes. And then comment about how I make not enough of them. Seriously. Alright, we got Riley's Rangers and we got Scientific Pursuits. I forgot we got Riley's Rangers. We listened to a radio station for that, didn't we? But, let's just head over to Megaton, I suppose. <clears throat> how much shit do we have to turn to Mora anyway? What am I? Neutral. Okay, good. Uh... Oh, damn. Well, we have a lot to turn in. Uh, we have the... Oh, I didn't know we got this. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what is that? I can't read that. What does that say? Buttons wig. Bardic plus five. Perception minus one. Intelligent. What? Or is that perception plus one? I can't tell. Intelligence plus one. Speech plus ten. Holy shit. That is an awesome wig. Holy crap, I look like the man with that. Dude, look at that. It goes so well with my goatee. Oh my god. Guys, this might just be my new favorite mask. Oh, it takes away some of my damage. But I don't care, look at it. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's friggin' dumb. But I love it. This might just be my new hairstyle, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see if it's lowering my perception, Annie. Night person, perception, plus two. Buttons, wig, perception. Is that the exact same symbol? Yeah, it is. Perception plus two. Or is that perception minus? I can't even tell. All right, let's go look at special then. Maybe that'll tell me. If I'm at least at 10, I'm at eight. Uh, let's see what happens if I take off the wig. No, it does take down my perception. Why the fuck does it take down your perception? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's because it was on the button robot and his perception of reality isn't very true. Is that what they're going for? <clears throat> I don't know if I want that. I guess I might just stick, stick with my ghoul mask. Which is a really fun mask, by the way. Just being able to hide from all the ghoulies, it's great. And I have no idea what that shit was. You gotta at least stay away from them or else they'll start hitting you. I've been able to walk up and get in leisurely conversations with some of them. Well, can't really have a conversation with the ghoul, but you get the idea. So, I'll be back once this loading screen is done. Yeah. Oh. Well, never mind. That was the quickest fucking loading screen in the world. All right. Never mind. I just wanted to listen to the rest of that song and then switch, but whatever. The loading screens are going to be that short. I don't even know why I'm skipping them. So, there has been something I've been thinking about. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim lately, as I've been saying. And I'm wondering, should I re let's play that? And that would be really fun to do. Like I'm realizing, Skyrim is a game, 
Or comparatively to Fallout 3, I can play it multiple times and not get bored of it. Even though it's very hard for me to decide, like, decide which one I like better, I can definitely say that Skyrim has a lot more replayability than Fallout. In Fallout, every time you play it, you go small guns. There's no exception. I mean, some people like to do challenge runs, but 95% of the people that play just use small guns, and then maybe they'll go for another, like, different category. Like me, I go for fists and energy weapons, kind of. Other people will go probably for melee. Some might go for energy weapons. Like, it, it's all over the place. But generally, small guns are just going to take up everything you do, is what I'm basically saying right now. So, man, what the hell happened to all my food? Oh, well. So, guess I might as well put away this good old uh, Raleigh's, rain, or not Raleigh, Sydney's 10mm Ultra SMG. There you go. Um, anything else I can put away? Ten pennies secure. Oh my god, look how shitty a condition that is in. Man, I did not realize that this shit would get so broken just from wearing it. Oh well, anything else I want to throw in here? Uh, uh I'll keep that. Throw in a minigun. Damn, these are in really good condition, miniguns. Well, the one is. I guess I can repair it to the other. Like I was saying, basically, uh... I was thinking about Skyrim, but there are a couple problems with starting Skyrim, even though it has a really good replayability. I'd be willing to do it again. Uh, the main problem is I do not want to record it on this screen. If you're looking right now and you see Fallout, like, I mean, it's okay. The menus are at least somewhat legible, and if you've played the game, you can pretty much go through it, understanding exactly what you're doing. Like, I'm leaning pretty far back in my room, and I'm able to see the gist of everything I'm doing here. Like, I'm able to see it. And when you see it in, like, once, once you guys actually watch the videos, those that do, you can notice that, basically, it looks somewhat legible, I hope. It's not too bad of a deal. Uh, can I actually make some more nuke grenades? Uh, I don't believe... Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, cool. Uh, let's take some of these, too. Uh, goddamn, I'm not gonna be able to get this conversation out. It's just like when I was doing the stupid update for Smash Bros. Alright, turpentine, I need two of those. I always need extra turpentine. Uh, tin can. Nah. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, he's talking about the, my book! Alright, let's jump and listen for this. Aw, oh, shit. Didn't even make that. There we go. Am I really a teenager? I guess I am. I'm not sorts of useful tips. Where to find food, how to deal with radiation, tons of stuff. Survive, thrive, and revive. That's the name of the game. The book is the Wasteland Survival Guide. Pick up your copy today. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. <laughs> yep, survive and thrive, all that fun stuff. Anyway, so at least he's very nice about my book. Don't feed the Alguais. Yep, I called it. I love that one. Anyway, as I was saying, finally getting back to my topic as I made the nuclear grenades and scoot around my house. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah, Skyrim. I don't want to record it on this TV. Because the menus in this are at least legible. In Skyrim, they are not fun to go through. I'm just going to say that right now. So I definitely want to wait until I have an HDMI uh, capture card. Which I have no idea. I'm not even going to guess at how expensive that shit is. Or at least maybe find a better capture card. Or maybe like get a better TV. Like maybe I could go for that. But it's not really going to fit. Like if you've seen my setup. My TV is basically inside of this cabinet. Where I used to throw my clothes. But since I don't usually wear pants. Like I usually wear shorts. I figured I could fit all that in the extra drawers. And I did. And now the TV is basically... Right, right there, center, and I can see it like Welcome inside this cabinet. It's actually pretty cool, but it doesn't exactly fit very well as it is, which means I could probably have bunked for a smaller TV and it would have fit better. But I decided to go big so I at least could see a little bit better. I mean, it's an oldish TV, it's not exactly new by any standards, but it's still a very good TV. Like, I can at least see everything on it, and if I'm playing anything that's like 
GameCube or Wii, I can see it perfectly fine. The problem comes in when I try to record Xbox games and games that can usually use the HDMI. It won't look nearly as good as you can see. A lot of the numbers look distorted in your recording and other stuff like that. It, it's just not beautiful, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Let's take that combat armor. More combat armor. I can prepare that into my good combat armor. Take that. Take the Rattaway 2. Um, well, I'm actually giving her money now. Uh, do you have any Braxo Cleaner by any chance? How about Turpentine? No. Do you have any tin cans? Uh, no. Wow. Pretty cool, Marva. Pretty cool. Take that. And Marker Fusion Cells. Uh, that's, that's good. Okay. Time to sell the rest of my stuff. Uh, like, I keep trying to figure out and say, god damn it. Uh, see, I'm more up. Or not more, god damn it, Skyrim. Skyrim is definitely a game I cannot record as of right now. I would love to record it, but I want to get a better way of recording it first, basically is what I'm trying to say. And once I'm able to do that, I believe once I am able, that should be like very close to the time when I've probably played Fallout for Good hunting. a solid year and could go straight to it. I've also thought about doing the sequel to this, or... Fallout New Vegas. I'm not even sure if that is technically considered a sequel. It's farther along in the future in the Fallout universe, but it's not exactly a sequel by any means. Uh, I'll also do that too. I don't even think I'll need to wait for that one because it'll probably have very similar, if not the exact same, lookability around it. But I just don't want to record too many Xbox stuff without the HDMI cord, is what I'm pretty much trying to say in general. So yeah, no Skyrim until that happens. And let's drop that Action Abe action figure, shall we? There you are. Oh my god, look how sexy that beast is. Alright, let's slap you on down over here. Carefully. Carefully. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. No, oh, oh, knock over my lamp. Come on, Action Abe. You can do it. You can do it, Action Abe. You fought many a battle. Yes. Damn it. Action Abe, you will stand up. Oh, how about I stand you up right here? You can be like right next to my 50 pound wood chipper. Yes, Action Abe. Yes. Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, oh, Action Abe. Action Abe. We can do this. We can do this. Na, 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 na. Uh, uh, Action Abe. Action Abe. We got this. We can do it. Nah, he's making love to the wood chipper. No, we, we, we need you better, Action Abe. We need you to stand up like a man. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is, there it not is. Oh my god, Action Abe. You are kind of being annoying right now. Man, so many funny channel moments could be in like... Oh, 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 what the fuck? So many funny channel moments, and you know what? It can't be any of these because these are past the 800th. And I cheated for the last one, so I'm not cheating for this one. God damn it, Action Abe. Stand the hell up. No, we need to make sure you are not a wounded soldier, Action Abe. You are a man. A man of many, many few words. God damn it, Abe. Alright, Abe. We're going to do this. You and I. I don't care if it takes the whole video. Actually, I do, because I'll probably cut that shit out if it takes the whole video. Come on, Action Abe. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Action Abe. Action Abe, we can do this. We've been here for 20 minutes and we haven't even fought a single enemy. Abe, we need to get back to real stuff. Stand. St st stand up. Abe. Abe. Abe, come on. Sit the fuck down! Abe! God! D d you know what? Of 
Close enough. Action Abe, everybody. Oh, that took forever. I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, what the hell are we doing now?